Hi, this is the Aussie Geek. I want to talk about Thunderbolt versus USB 3.0. Now, both of them are coming out roughly about the same time. Um, USB 3.0 downloads at about 5 gigabytes per second. Sorry, transfer rate. Transfers about 5 gigabytes a second. Um, Thunderbolt transfers at 10 gigabytes a second. And at the moment, it's starting to remind me of the old um, HD DVD versus Blu ray arguments are going on going on yeah they've all got their pluses and minuses um, at the moment um, HB is the one champion USB 3.0 0 and Apple and Apple and Intel are the ones uh, jumping on board with Thunderbolt and uh, which is good for me because I've just uh, purchased the new um, iMac 2011 model and that's got the 27 inch and that's got two Thunderbolt ports at the back but there's nothing really available that I can use just yet you know they've got a couple of hard drives nothing major um, USB 3 well that's more that is backwards compatible with USB 2 so at the moment there's a hell of a lot more that can um, you can plug into the USB 3 um, unfortunately I think Thunderbolt might lose but hopefully I might my, my <clears throat> I'm personally going for um Thunderbolt personally, but yeah, that's because it's twice as fast. Um, will it affect the way I buy a computer in the in the future? No. And the Apple's still got the USB 2 ports on it. Um, but I'm buying an Apple anyway, regardless. And a lot of Intel computers go computers are gonna be shipping with um, Thunderbolt. And Intel have a quite quite a big slice of the market. Um, HP, not so much. You don't see a lot of HP computers, but who knows? Maybe I'll be. Maybe I'm wrong. Hopefully, I'm. I'm right because well, all up USB um, USB three is just not looking as good. Considering it's only half the speed. Um, takes makes you think about the old Firewire days, but who knows? Anyway, that's my thought on it, and I'm the Aussie geek.